Hey, what's up, guys? Naughty Llama here, and for some reason, when I tried to record, I used the um, the built-in microphone on my computer that was like 10 feet away from me instead of the Turtle Beaches I had hooked up. So, uh, audio is kind of screwed up. I did a live part for this when I was playing the game, so hopefully that stays in. But I wanted to uh, re-record this because uh, I currently raised the audio level, but it sounded like shit. So, um, should I redo this? And hopefully the game sounded good because I actually uh had a good game I was playing here, so as you can see, I was going through my roster, seeing what all I needed, I think I actually make a trade here with the Red Sox, which I forget who I traded, uh, I just did another trade where I just traded, um, I think it was Andrew McCutcheon, and in return, I traded him in one of my pitchers, I forget who, and in return, I got, uh, Jose Batista, um, another really good starting pitcher, in uh, Colby Rasmus, so, um, it was pretty good here, and then I think I trade, I forget who I trade, let me see once I get into it here, um, yeah, I did all this live, so it kind of sucks when um it was like synced up perfectly because I did it live, and then and it just sucks when um my computer decided to be gay and not work. But let me see who I trade. I think I trade Jose Tabata for um I already traded for the Red Sox, didn't I? I remember this is earlier. Um, I think I trade for um who do I get? I think Crawford and uh I think I got a pitcher. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's really sucks. He had Bard, which, uh, he's a pretty good pitcher. I didn't know they brought Bard up as a starting pitcher this year, because, uh, he was always a good reliever, but, um, I don't know if the Sox using him as a starter this year or not, but they have kind of a loaded pitching staff. They've got, um, Lackey, who, I don't know, he's still kind of decent. They got him in the fifth spot, and then they got, um, Matsuzaku, who I think he's injured right now, but he's still pretty good. And then, yeah, I get a reliever, too. I get McClan, Melancon, however you pronounce his name. I get that dude, too, um. I think he was the uh, closer into Houston last year, so that helped my team out a little bit here. And for some reason, like, the uh, auto roster thing decided I brought uh, I brought my reliever up, and for some reason it decided to keep putting them back down for a few games instead of, like, manually do it. But, um, all right, I'm going to let the um, live part I recorded take over now, so hopefully the audio doesn't sound too bad. And I figured out how to fix it, so uh, it'll be good in the rest of my videos, because... Uh, I, I did another one that sounded like shit too, but um, yeah, it'll be good. Let me see. When do I start the game here? Um, looking through my pitching rotation. I guess I'll just keep recording here until uh, until it starts the game, so it can sync up perfectly. But oh, I just changed my pitching up there. And I think I dropped Bard down because he was uh, tired, so I didn't want to skip his start. I figured I could just put him at the bottom of my uh, bottom of my rotation. And um, yeah, there you can see. I think I get back into my manager roster. Nah, just checking out what my lineup were. I got uh. Carl Crawford leading off, so, um, I don't know, Crawford's got a crap load of speed, which is pretty good, and I think I got a good deal for, uh, for getting all, all three guys just for Jose Tabata, because I don't think Tabata is that good, um, he's a young player, but he's not, like, really good, so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna end this here, and it'll pick up when, uh, I'm playing the game, so, uh, that's it, guys, uh, enjoy the rest of the video. We've got baseball for you this evening in the desert southwest. Chase Field in Phoenix is the site for this edition of Major League Baseball presented by the show. Now a swing on the first pitch, and this is bounced toward Hill at second. Throw on to first in time, one away. Nate McLeod will stand in now as he was reinserted back into the lineup here after taking a needed day off yesterday. Fouled back. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. And this is fouled back and out of play. Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's 1 and 2 now. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Line hard to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in now. He homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. First pitch of the A.B. is swung on and lifted in the air to straightaway center. Young is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. A 
look there at the starting lineup for the host Diamondbacks now. Brought to us again by State Farm. Aaron Hill will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Ball one. Now a ball lying toward right center. And Hill's going to reach. It's a base hit. Stephen Drew will stand in, and you can see that early season average up into the high 300s now. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. And the fastball here is hit on the ground, but foul. Line to the right side but a foul ball and boy what a battle brewing here as he fouls yet another pitch into the seats still stuck on 0-2 on oh, he's waiting on the fastball that time as he belts one high and deep to right center and that just misses the pool as it's off the wall not in time and he's in there with a double and the opening salvo is fired here as they take a one to nothing lead. Justin Upton will dig in now. And as you can see, he's well over 300 here to start this new campaign. And Walker's throw is right there for route number one. Chris Young will stride in now. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's ball game. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. In the air to center. McCutcheon is there and that should be deep enough to score the run and it's a sack fly and an RBI it's now a 2-0 game Jason Kubel will dig in here and this is hit hard on the ground towards short right there is Barmas throw on to Lee will be in time and the inning is over so they get a couple of runs on two hits no errors and no one left aboard one inning in the Derek Lee will stand in, and you see the average there, up over 300 to start the new season. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Uh, and a lot of guys like to look at a pitch in their first at bat, but that was a location he could have done some damage with. Nothing in one pitch, swung on and bounced out to Drew at short. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Neil Walker will stand in, hoping to get things turned around here in April as he enters play with an average down in the 220s. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. Now he spins on a fastball here and drives one to deep right field. And that is over the wall. Home run. Now the first pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And he's looking to pick up save number six on the year if he in fact can close this one out. And Hill able to lay off again. It's 2-0 oh now. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. And he's fallen behind now. 3-1. and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And he's going to put this one away. And the Pirates have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. The offensive star of the night for the Bucks. well, it was this guy right here. Neil Walker, picture perfect there. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, a couple of home runs in a ball game is pretty special. You could tell he was really dialed in up there, and he had a whale of a game. So that'll wrap things up here tonight. For Dave Campbell, Eric Karros, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB 12, the show. For even more, join us on the web at theshownation.com. The Pirates win it 4-2. Post-game highlights come your way next. Now for all of us at the show, good night from Phoenix.